Hey there, fellow RimWorlders. Here we are, we're back with another episode of Let's Learn RimWorld Together. It's onerous here. And I was going to start this episode talking about what we wanted to achieve. But, that's right, I remember from yesterday we had a raid coming in, a bunch of tribals. And what a cliffhanger indeed. So, uh, we need to do some switching here. And we need to get everyone over here. Uh, we'll get Pacer, who is our Malaya, to uh, flip these switches. And then maybe come over to there. Uh, Ben's got our SMG. Alright, Pi, you'll find there. Uh, you can go over there and we'll get Ben with the SMG there. And then our other guys with the rifles there. Okay. That should be good. Um, they were attacking immediately, if I remember correctly. I just cancelled the uh, the log. Um, is there any way to bring up? I'm sure there is to bring up the previous messages, but right now we just need to uh, get ready. Oh, I thought they were attacking straight away, but maybe they're not. Um, history messages. Right there we go. Uh, ah, they will prepare for a while and then attack. Okay, uh, well, false alarm, guys. Uh, let's let you just go and do your normal things. So, um, yeah, okay, you can clean some dirt there, but I probably don't care if that's dirty, so I'm going to go and change the home zone. Um, somewhat around here a little bit I just don't want them spending all their time cleaning in here um, yeah that'll, that'll be fine all right we do need to make sure they have home zone where they will repair um, repair the things so back to our previous idea of starting the episode is uh, what we got up to last time was we created this barn let's turn that off and we've got some hay grass growing uh, Okay, there we go. The assault is happening. Um, or oh, didn't turn off. Didn't turn things off. Um, that's all right. Let's get these guys. Actually, I'm gonna put Ben here. Uh, let's recruit him. I'm gonna put him here, and then we'll get these other ones positioned around like that. Okay. Um, there is an awesome mod. I can't remember what it's called, but uh, it allows you to set defensive positions and like for instance we've just put everyone here now you can then select them all set that as their default defensive position and then you when they're um when they're not drafted you can then just press a key and they'll all go back to that defensive position which is very handy when you've got a kill box set up like this um all right looks like some people are shooting hopefully we will kill some there we go oh we're a wriggler excellent and Turkey, the last one, Peso gets in the kill. Alright, uh, wowee, uh, we actually end up killing them all, uh, except for uh, this one who has, let's do a quick check of the health, okay, make sure they didn't lose any body parts, they're fine, uh, death in 10 hours, that's good, we'll be able to save them if we want. Um, Alright. Ah, greedy, greedy, greedy. Um, okay, jealous is what I was thinking of, but greedy is okay. We can have two really impressive bedrooms, and then the greedy one is in the slightly less impressive, so that's okay. Volatile sucks a little bit. Uh, it does mean that they'll break much quicker, uh, but undergrounder is good. And I love these stats. Um, mining is always handy to have. And a passion for shooting is great. Passion for construction is great. Double passion for crafting would be okay if their crafting was higher. Um, but yeah, we definitely, definitely want to save that person if we can. So um, let's get you to capture Ga Gabor Bortro. That is a terrible name, isn't it? Um, that is a terrible name indeed. Okay. Whew. Um, now we have our crematorium built from last episode, so we will be able to dispose of these bodies. Uh, ooh, some psychite tea. We actually uh, 
actually wanted to get some of that. Uh, we'll allow all these things here. I don't want to allow everything across the map because we do have some rotten corpses I saw as we were zooming around. I don't want to disallow those and bring them in. Although, actually, honestly, um, that, that's fine because we can burn. We've got sections to burn, so we'll run through everything um, just in case. So. Uh, we have three alpacas, a male and two females. Looks like we actually uh, managed to tame quite a good amount. Uh, another female would be good, but there's only males, so yeah, we'll just uh, we'll hunt those other ones, hunt them to death. Um, now that we have her, she needs some uh, healing. Who is our healer? I thought it was Pacer. Uh, yeah, Pacer is doing it. Are we out of? No, we're not out of herbs. Not sure why Pacer went all the way out there. Anyway, um, you will heal up Gabor. Gabor ba -ba -ba. Uh, where do we? Maybe I can't change their name. Um, Crew difficulty 92%. All right, well, good times. We'll have a bit of fun with that. Um, is this the rename? No, banish. I'm pretty sure that's where we go to rename. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so we need we need Gabor Bortro to join our colony before we can rename them because I'm not going to say that name every single time. Uh, if they do, in fact, come around because that's fairly difficult. Uh, all right. Uh, also, what we need to do is switch these. V for switch. Good. Good. Uh, and that one. Actually, you know what? Probably charge that enough. Um, I'm pretty happy with three mostly filled batteries. Uh, what we want to do though is get some hauling happening. Uh, let's just prioritize that a wee bit. We'll give it one one shift click on that, and then next round, we'll, or next day, hopefully we'll get that going and bump the speed up to three. All right, a group of travelers, uh, they do not have anything to trade. If you have a trade, they have the yellow question mark floating around. Um, we definitely need that switched off, uh, and it is designated to switch off. All right, uh, if we can actually boost the hall with a double, let's get everyone to just get this stuff that is around sorted out. Um, and hopefully, yes, there we go, the bodies uh, hopefully we'll get burnt. Nope, they're getting buried. All right, uh, that is not what we want. Okay, uh, we want to set this to only allow colonists. There we go. And copy settings, paste settings, paste settings. All right. Um, what are you doing? What are you doing with that? Okay. Prioritize cremating, please. We do not want we do not want human corpses to be put over here. Uh, let us turn off human corpses. There we go. All right. Now what we can actually do is put a new zone, um, dumping stockpile zone, just kind of here. Actually, let's. I've got a great idea. Let's put it hidden away here, and we're going to have this as storage for nothing but human stranger corpses of any of any type. Yet doesn't matter if they're rotten or fresh. Yes, and uh, let's put that as important. So then we'll get them in there, and then we can uh, we can cremate cremate them as we see fit. Alright, which brings me to the next thing we want to do is uh, exhume some of these corpses and get them cremated. Something to deconstruct. One, two, three, four, five, six. And uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see how that goes. What's Pi doing now? Uh, cremating. Okay, I'm going to clear your prioritize work because you are just going around cremating rotting animal corpses now, which is definitely not a good use of your time. Sam is... I uh, know he's fine. Getting a bit more mood as he goes to sleep. Pi, what are you up to? Uh, meditating. Beautiful. Pi and Pacer, Ben and Engie. 
Uh, if this is your first time playing RimWorld, you'll see yes, they are sleeping together, but uh, in vanilla RimWorld there is no there is no mating. They have no genitalia. Uh, you can get mods that gives them sexual organs, but I believe that mod doesn't actually give them any uh, any babies. I'm not sure if there's any mods that allow you to create babies. It probably is. It seems like something that the modding community would jump on board, but who knows. All right. Uh, now let's turn this hall back down to where it was and let them go about their normal day. Uh, one thing we're going to do is see what is what is going on. Uh, making a mace, okay, that's pretty good. Um, do we have the scrap metal? Um, no, because we don't have the right production thing for it. A smelter. Uh, let us pop the smelter here and uh, I'm going to I'm going to relocate this one over to here okay there we go that's good uh, does it still have the same bills uh, no it doesn't oh because I have no bills okay uh, let's get some sculptures happening do until you have uh, Let's just say, uh, I don't know, three of uh, any quality, three good small sculptures. And we definitely don't want to do gold. Um, wood is okay. Granite would be okay. And for some reason, we only have 70 cents. That's all right. All right. Um, that'll be good. I don't know if we've got anyone actually on art. Uh, ben is probably going to be mining before arting, uh, and Agamir will definitely be crafting. So we don't really have a actual artist at this point. Um, look at that, resistant dropped. Excellent. Um, let's have a look. Serious pain, yeah, death. Hungry, naked, sweaty. Uh, well, we can't really help you with that. I don't think... I don't think giving them any clothes in storage or anything allows them to. Uh, oh, he's getting fed some milk. Well, it's good for the bones. Okay. Um, now, this is interesting. A slaver caravan. So, slavers actually allow you to buy and sell prisoners. Uh, I'm not sure what else we can buy and sell from them. But again, let's make sure Pacer doesn't go to sleep. Resting, of course, you are. Um, Let's bring you over to here. Looks like this is where they're coming from. Let's trade trade with Lenori and uh, as you can see, yes, we can sell Gabal Watro, who's actually quite a nice pawn. Um, what we can do is buy herbal meds. We'll definitely do that. Um, we could buy some pemmican. Our food stores are unable to be seen in this um, but I think we're actually alright with food so I don't want to do that we could have a look at some of these other other pawns um, like this one Ooh, that is a really good crafting artist um, which one was that? Sammy the Counselor? 1350 we can't afford that unless we sell uh, Gabba Bortro um, intellectual is not that important. We already have one of those. Animal uh, handler, yep. Uh, surgeon generally has pretty good stuff. Artistic, nice, but not much else that they would be able to do. And they're a pyromaniac. Um, the shaman is pretty good at a lot of things. Probably no better than. Gabba Bortru. Um, I'm very, very tempted to to pick this one up. Capable of firefighting or cleaning, and is a pyromaniac. No, I'm going to skip on that. We'll um, we'll go the old-fashioned way, and uh, stick with stick with what we've got. Now, where did they drop our herbal meds? Uh, I am not sure. All right, we've got some major break risk. From Ben. Uh, what's up, Ben? Observe rotting corpses. Yeah, well, uh, that's going to happen when we don't have anyone cremating. 
Uh, caravan request. All right, 20 simple helmets, and they will give us 14 advanced components. That's really tempting. We haven't done any caravanning just yet, and we're not we're not actually set up for it. But um, we've also got this. There is one sleeping mechanoid. Uh, yeah, no. And a metric power cell is pretty good. That's a thousand uh, free energy. But this is a little bit far away. I think uh, we'll we'll give it a miss. All right, let's uh, unpause, continue on. Um, is that a 85% steel club? It's not not bad quality. Uh, we should probably get someone to uh, get someone to grab that. Why are you consuming potatoes? What is Agamir doing uh, that he is not cooking? He is our cook, uh, warden, and then cook. Ah, grow. Okay, well, we need to drop you down. Uh, we need to drop that down as well. There we go. Back to cooking. Ah, much better. Alright, who uh, who can we get hauling? Let's see. Uh, we do want Pacer to clean and then, and then haul, maybe? Uh, everyone else is, like, really important that they do other things. Uh, what does NG do really? Construction and crafting. Yeah, it's probably still better. Um, Alright, they are leaving. Now oh, it looks like someone did pick up the mace in the end. Yeah, Pacer, doing your best cleaning up the battlefield. Uh, that is alright. Is that one of ours? I think it is. Yeah, it is. Uh, let us... There we go. Uh, back to the barn with you. Thank you. Alright, and our hay grass is growing, which is nice. Oh, a transport pod crash. A torturer named Iskra is crashing a transport pod. Let's have a look. Well, let's have a look. What is this one like? Uh, health. Uh, she has a very small gunshot wound in the right leg. That's fine. Death in eight hours. We should be able to get her if we wanted. Uh, super good at shooting is a psychopath, which uh, is is pretty good um, in that she doesn't she's not affected by the suffering others. Uh, fast walker is amazing. Staringly ugly does really piss other people off. Um, so it's not great. And the fact that all she does is shooting is just a little bit crap. Um, yeah, I'm gonna give that one a miss. We'll uh, we'll. We could go out and rescue. Ah, that's what we'll do. Let's uh, see someone. Here we go. Pacer, come out here and rescue. And then we'll just let them... Uh, we'll heal them up and we'll let them free. And uh, that might give us some extra relations with their faction. Which I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it does give us bonus relations. Um, as a guest, yep. Once you're able to uh, walk, you'll just leave... I think there is a small chance that they actually stay with the fact with us, uh, and that doesn't anger their faction. But anywho, let's just see what happens. Uh, why is that? Oh no, there is just some kind of grass there. That's all right. That is okay. Uh, what is our wildlife situation looking like? Uh, we still have a lot of stuff that we can hunt for free. Uh, we'll leave that going. There's some more berry bushes to harvest. Local berry bush harvesting is always always a good use of time. Um, now, do we have enough crafters? Because I feel like uh, we do have sandstone blocks. Why? Where are these 200 sandstone blocks? Oh yeah, we do. We've got them somewhere. They must be in here. I'm not sure, but that we do need to do some deconstructing here um, because we in a previous episode yes that's right we rerouted around there don't want any uh, any of this stuff catching fire how are we looking for clothing uh, we have everything except for patch leather available uh, which is really nice 
So, Iskra the Torturer is no longer incapable of walking. Uh, the guest... I wonder if we should have stolen their clothes. Uh, lizard skin pants. Devil Strand button-down shirt is pretty amazing. Um, we probably we probably don't need to do that. We will shall let them go. Let's see how our prisoner here is going. About to get a drop. 30 down to 28. That's really nice. This must be a good room for them. Um, now, our temperature is 36 degrees. We should probably put some air conditioning in in here. I think that is a good idea to keep our guys a little bit cooler over the uh, over the summer months. We'll see how two of them handle it. And we might need we might need a third. Now the trick here is to make sure with these. Uh, having all of these set, so we'll uh, we'll reset them to 21, and then I'm going to drop them down to 18. Um, so if it drops below 18, they'll turn on. Uh, otherwise, they they just kind of sit there doing nothing, which they're doing now. Um, but you got to make sure you don't fight between these and the cooler. So if I set the cooler to 17 degrees, for instance, it would just go on until it got down to 17. And then the heaters would turn on and try and get up to 18, and the two would just keep using max power um, until that point. And unfortunately, you're going to get a sleeping outdoors penalty. So are you, Sam, because we didn't actually build those. We just destroyed the walls, um, which is okay. Which is okay. At least, uh, at least it's not too cold or hot because um, the temperature is kind of evened out across everywhere with all these vents. Now, uh, we still got this thrombo horn. Man, that was so long ago that we got that. Um, our research is coming along. We definitely definitely need to make sure, uh, I, think, I think our researcher is also growing. Um, no, that's okay. Pi is researching as a main priority. 17 research skill is fantastic. Um, once we get microelectronics, we'll get the comms console, which will be handy. Uh, what's Sam making patch leather? Yeah, well, it's not the best use of our time, um, but it does use up some of these little stacks of other other leathers. Uh, milk and the cow, beautiful. Hopefully, we can get a uh, another cow. This one gets pregnant at some point. Um, we've got the bull here going around. When they're pregnant, I don't believe they produce milk. Which is just a minor inconvenience, but um, the more cows we have, the more milk we'll get in the long term. So setting up the economic engine, if you will, as we go. Uh, Iskara is still still sleeping. Uh, pain is severe. Well, that is unfortunate. Also, these adding just bits of pain. 5, 17, yeah. 18% pain. That's a fair bit of pain. Can't really help you with that. Uh, Produce down to 26. It's going to take a while to get uh, Gabo here. Yeah, we're going to change the name to Gabo. Uh, it's going to take a while to get Gabo up and uh, ready for the team. We got here. That is uh, metal tiles. You see, there was walls on there that at some point we uh, removed. But when you remove walls, it doesn't actually remove the flooring. So you got to remember come back and remove the flooring. Um, we are getting along with these. I'm just going to deconstruct. I'm not going to deconstruct those ones, but I am going to open them. Alright. These guys aren't going to be particularly happy. Um, Alright. Now I'm going to get you to cremate straight away so I don't get someone else here because... Uh, yes, observed five rotting corpses, negative 12. Uh, what do we got? Plasteel and gold. Whoa. That is really close. Threats unknown. Uh, we could prepare. We could prepare for that. Um, why are we not burning that one? Cremate corpse. Uh, stranger corpse, fresh or rotten, uh, might have just fallen asleep. 
maybe. Um, ben. Uh, that is one of ours, isn't it? Yes, okay. Um, prioritize, hauling, and bearing. Okay, there we go. So these ones now um, should be set to colonists only. Yes. Uh, no, the other ones did not work. Alright, let's paste the settings there. And colonists only. Colonists only. So we'll give our colonists a burial and we'll spurn the corpses of everyone else. Whew, nice stuff. Alright, that should have handled most of the mood debuffs. Um, steel and components. Do we not have steel? We've got 39 steel and components are somewhere else. There we go, 54 components. We're okay for components. Um, we could do with some more mining jobs out on, out on the rim. Getting some of this steel some of this steel would be nice. More steel, semi mines, components. There's more components. We actually got a lot of mining jobs. Um, and once we get uh, once we get Gabo, we're up and running. He's going to be mining. She's going to be mining. There you go. She's going to be mining like a champ. But again, long time away. Very high resistance. Dropping down pretty nicely though. Two at a time. We're a bit over one. Uh, what is that? That is uh, granite. Let's uh, let's do some removal of those floors. Don't mind if I do. And uh, that is a room that we have not opened up. I'm not going to open that up just in case there's something in there. Um, is that entirely stone? Almost is. There's no roof over it. Yep. All right. Well, until we get until we get our uh, research complete, there's not a whole lot we can do. Um, there you go. Dropped another another point. Good stuff. Social going. We're getting some more food. Um, would be nice, Agamir, if you when you woke up you actually did some butchering. But we do have a lot of meat, so uh, this is all frozen. Not an issue. Uh, how is our battery situation? Uh, it is going down very quickly because we have no wind. I'm not sure it is going to work throughout the whole time. So Iskra is healed and the yeah, she's moving off. Do not want to join. Uh, we'll see if we get a increase with her faction. Uh, what is her faction? Space Refugee? No, that's not her faction. Uh, Log bio. Uh, no, it doesn't actually say what her faction is. Uh, not sure if he had a faction. Well, we didn't want her anyway. She was pretty rubbish. Uh, here we go. We now have these guys. I'm going to set them to 24, which in Australia is. Our local energy company recommends 24 as the best, most efficient. Uh, what? Malnutrition. Um, man, that is really bad. Uh, they can't feed on that. We're out of kibble. All right. Alright, I actually need you to do some butchering, please. We were out of kibble, and the bull died. Uh, that's great. Alpaca, cow one. Severe malnutrition still. You really need that kibble ASAP, guys. Uh, let's make... Make kibble, please. Please make kibble. Thank you. Alright. I'm going to up that amount. Uh, uh, details. There we go. Alright. Let's up that to, uh, let's say, 200 kibble. Uh, 
Uh, the loss of the bull there, man, that is that is uh, pretty bad. Oh uh, well, 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 well. Um, that just means that we're not going to get a cow. Is not going to have anyone to mate with, and we're not going to get any more. Um, yeah, we're going to get some alpaca wool. Uh, I don't think alpacas drop milk, do they? No, female alpaca, no milk growth. Just wool. Alright. The hay was not quick enough and I wasn't paying attention. Uh, while it's raining, we'll do a quick check for uh, roof. I think we're okay for that. Uh, there's a bit of roof area there. We must have mined out a section of goodies around there. All right, well, we are almost done with the research. Man, I'm just waiting for that to tick over. We might just uh, we might just keep this running, and uh, no, no, that's silly. We'll just wait. That'll tick over when it does next episode, probably. And we'll be able to get our commune uh, set up, and that will allow us to talk to passing trade ships. At which point, we really need to focus on a lot more crafting. Um, so that we can have some gear to sell and we'll probably need maybe a second storage area that will pop in here uh, which is where a good copy and paste would be delightful uh, one thing we might want to look at is creating a better dining room which has some cool stuff uh, we've got some yeah relations with neighbors going to a uh, poor level as, as they just do, you know, see, natural tendency to reach negative 80 over time unless you uh, purposely go and do something. If you get cargo pods, um, chunks of spacecraft, yay! Is that the only one on the map? Yep. I think it is. We've got anything else? Um, ah, yes, once you get cargo pods, you can actually send stuff. Oh, we've got some, uh, we've got our. Look at our corn, excellent. Uh, we do need to haul that, so let's quickly pump up the hauling, get everyone bringing stuff in. Um, did we end up making any beer? No wort and uh, none of that. We do have hops. Uh, we don't have hops just yet. Alright, if we can get all this corn in that would be great. Uh, that will be a very, very good use, uh, very good stores for the winter. And look at that, fine meal! Someone's going to eat that very quickly and be very happy. Uh, I'm not sure who that was, but they will get a, uh, a mood boost from it. So let's we'll see if we can find some. There we go. First one off the rank. Eight, five, eight fine meal plus five to the mood. Um, so that's basically the only advantage that fine meals give you. Uh, they, they require more food to make, more raw materials to make, and provide the same amount of uh, nutrition, sustenance, whatever you choose to call it, as a normal meal, um, a simple meal. Uh, but yeah, that is that is the bonus. All right, Pacer, you are going to come down and do some trading with old kangaroo, a well-named well -named Australian Horn. So, bulk goods trader, can we get a bull? No, but we can get another cow. Um, let's get another cow. I think that's pretty good. We don't want any pigs. Um, Alright, human meat. Uh, we are, we're, not, we're not into that. Um, I think our food situation is pretty good. We're going to... We'll leave that alone. Some synth thread uh, is pretty good stuff, but expensive. Okay, we can get rid of some of these small stacks. Uh, blue fur, uh, heavy fur, eh. just these stacks that aren't going to actually make anything out of. Um, herbal meds, here yeah, we'll buy your one herbal med. Sell our two psychite tea. We'll start production of that at some point. Um, we've got a good amount of wood. Alright, now we get into some of the gear that we've got. Anything that is... Uh, low sort of hit points that we're not going to wear will sell. Um, there is a poor helmet. Oh, they don't want the thrombo horn, really? Man, 
I'm going to get rid of that at some point. We do have 280 hops, which is nice. A Devil Strand Cowboy Hat. Um, no, we don't want that. A Steel Simple Helmet for 100. It's probably not bad. Uh, well, we do have some orders to make them, so I'm going to leave that. I think that's pretty much it. Um, what did we end up buying? We bought uh, some herbal meds and a cow. Yep, I think that's that's all right. Thank you. Not quite the uh, not quite the same as our bull because we're not going to be able to breed two cows. But uh, if they want to hang out together, that is okay by me. Alrighty. Um, well, with that being said, I think I'm going to end the episode here because we are well out of time. Uh, as with any of these games, you can just keep playing and one more thing, just one more thing, just one more thing, but there's always one more thing, and that's how these games get you, but still, one more thing is very, very fun. Uh, next episode, hopefully we'll get our research complete, uh, certainly for the comms console and the microelectronics. Microelectronics, is that what it's called? Uh, yes, microelectronics. Um, and uh, eventually we'll get up to some fabrication, but... We might spend a bit of time maybe doing some other things once we've got our precision rifling because um, that's kind of our aim is to get our defenses sorted um, and then we'll start playing around with uh, a few of the niceties like the beer and uh, some psychite tea which we're still not able to plant by the looks of it. Uh, what are these? Oh we are, we are, haha. -ha. Okay, um, before I go too far though let's, uh, let's turn our hall back down shift and right click on the name to do them all at once uh, just to get everything back to normal and then we will save and quit so as always love to hear your comments down below uh, do want to hear if you've got some ideas on what we should be doing with the colony or anything that I've totally botched and am doing in a very very stupid way which would not surprise me because hey I'm just learning this game too and we're just going to keep pushing on until we launch a spaceship so that being said Thanks for watching, and this is uh, going to be another week, another weekend down. Uh, see you in five days, six days, whatever it is. Six days, I guess. Uh, five days of Factorio ahead, and then back to another weekend of RimWorld next weekend. So, thanks for watching, and see you next time.